Okay, so someone asked me to do a, a video on how to install a chess engine in SCID. So this is going to be just a very brief tutorial on that. It's very simple. Um, if you want a free engine, I would recommend going to chess.com, select resources, downloads, and type in Houdini in the search downloads. And it'll show up on the first page here. Houdini 1.5. This is a free engine and the author claims it's the strongest chess engine on the planet so I, I won't debate that with anybody but it, either way it's probably better than any human you're gonna play so just download that file it's a single file to exe file and I would recommend saving it to your desktop so it's easy to find and then uh, make a new folder you can right click on your desktop and create a new folder and call it Houdini or if you're using a different engine name it you know whatever en the engine name is and then put that um, exe into this folder you're going to copy the entire folder so once you get that done you're going to right click copy and then navigate to wherever you have your skid program and I've already got the the link open just so I don't have to navigate through everything but mine is in C program files skid slash skid slash bin slash engines and when you get to this folder you'll see the engines that are already uh, installed and these are the default engines that come with skid this current version of skid but anyhow you're just gonna grab your Houdini um, folder off of the desktop and drop it right in here or you can right click and paste if you copied uh, and then you'll see this here so once you get that in place uh, close this out load up skid and you're gonna go to tools analysis engine and you'll see um, the engines that are currently installed in skid and obviously we want to add Houdini so we're going to click new and here you type the name of your engine on command line you just click this little button off here to the right and you'll navigate to your skid slash bin slash engines folder and you'll see the Houdini folder in there I'm sorry I have to do this uh, awkwardly the encoder won't let me open folders regularly so I'm gonna open there we go Houdini folder and then there's our engine so you select that and click open and it'll populate this command line with the directory and the file name of your engine and you don't need to do anything else on this screen but I would recommend that you probably configure UCI engine just by clicking this button here and the only thing that I usually change in here is how many variations I want the engine to show me uh, if you're a computer expert and you know what all this other stuff does uh, I guess you could you can modify those to better suit the play of the engine but I don't know what all that stuff does so I'm just gonna change this to usually three four maybe five variations at the most because I don't when the uh, when the engines analyzing my game I don't want it to show me 15 different lines I just want the top three or four at the most and that's plenty for me now some engines uh, they're not UCI engines so you won't be able to modify uh, these settings but Houdini is a UCI engine. I believe Ribka is also. Um, anyhow, you click Save once you change that. Click OK here. And then when you click on Tools, Analysis Engines, you'll see Houdini in your list and you just select it and click OK and it will start analyzing. Uh, preferably if you've already got a game of some kind. Uh, and you'll see it's showing us our four variations and there's a whole slew of options down here at the bottom if you just highlight the button it'll tell you what the what it does for you but usually I like it for opening 
checks to see if I'm uh, making errors in the opening. I don't really uh, use the engines too often. And you can also play against the engines too. But anyhow, um, for this tutorial, just to install it, that's how you do it. It's very easy, and uh, I hope this has helped.